This video is about the verbs tener, haber, and hacer plus nouns, and also about copulative verbs. The verbs tener, haber, and hacer are followed by nouns, no adjectives. The verb tener is used for possession. Possession doesn't mean necessarily owning. Example, tengo ese libro. I have that book. The book can be yours or can be from the library, but is in your possession. The verb tener is used for obligation. Tener plus que plus a verb in the infinity. Example, ella tiene que terminar esta cosa. She has to finish this thing with the sense of she must finish this thing. The verb haber is used for existence. Example, hay, that is, there is, or there are. Example, había cuatro sobres en la gaveta. There were four envelopes in the drawer, with the sense of four envelopes existed in the drawer, or the drawer had four envelopes. The verb haber is used for, uh, as an auxiliary verb, in compound conjugated forms. Example, él ha traído la máquina. He has brought the machine. Can be used for obligation. Haber plus the preposition de plus a verb in the infinity. Example, nosotros hemos de verlo pronto. We ought to see him soon. With the sense that we should see him soon. The verb hacer is used for the, as the verb to do. Example, el niño hace la tarea. The child does his homework. As the verb to make. Example, mi abuela hace ese plato los domingos. My grandma makes that dish on Sundays. Then we can use the verbs tener, haber, and hacer followed by nouns. For example, in phrases related to the weather. Examples, tengo calor, I am hot. Literally, I have heat. Hay mucho calor, it's very hot. Literally, there is a lot of heat. Hace calor, is hot. Literally, it makes heat. Notice that in Spanish, we use a noun, calor, that is heat, while in English, we use the verb to be, followed by an adjective, hot is an adjective. It's possible to use the verb to be in Spanish, ser or estar, plus an adjective, but is not the common way. Examples, estoy caliente, I am hot, with the sense of I'm sweating because it's hot, Está muy caliente, it's very hot, the environment. Since we use the verbs tener, haber, and hacer plus a noun, let's see other common phrases in Spanish with the verb tener, where we use the verb to be plus an adjective in English. Examples, tengo hambre, I am hungry. Literally, I have hunger. Tengo sed. I am thirsty, literally, I have thirst. Tengo sueño, I am sleepy, literally, I have sleep. Tengo suerte, I am lucky, literally, I have luck. You can also use estar plus adjective and ser plus adjective or noun in Spanish. Examples using estar. Estoy hambriento, I am hungry. Estoy sediento, I am thirsty. Estoy somnoliento, I am sleepy. Estoy suertudo, or sortario, or afortunado, I am lucky, right now. Estoy cansado, or with the verb to have, tengo cansancio, that is, I am tired. Examples using ser. Él es inteligente. He's intelligent. 
intelligent, he's an adjective. Él es científico, he's a scientist. Científico is a noun. Él es suertudo, or sortario, or afortunado. He's lucky, usually. Él es un hombre con suerte. He's a lucky man. Ella es feliz. She's happy. Happy is an adjective. Ella es la dueña de varios caballos. She's the owner of several horses. Dueña is a noun. The verbs tener, haber, and hacer are transitive verbs. It means the nouns after them are direct objects. Examples. Ella tiene pasteles en la cocina. She has cakes in the kitchen. Hay pasteles en la cocina. There are cakes in the kitchen. Ella hace pasteles en la mañana. She makes cakes in the morning. Then, you can replace the direct objects with direct object pronouns like me, te, lo, la, nos, os, los, and las. Like this. Ella los tiene en la cocina. She has them in the kitchen. Los hay en la cocina. They there are in the kitchen. Ella los hace en la mañana. She makes them in the morning. The verbs estar, that is to be for states like current conditions or location, ser, that is to be for intrinsic conditions like descriptions or definitions, and the verb parecer, that, that is the verb to seem, are copulative verbs. Copulative verbs are not followed by the rep objects, but attributes. Examples, ella está triste, she is sad, nosotros somos tus vecinos, we are your neighbors, ellos parecen buenas personas, they seem like good people. Many times, the attribute can take the position of the subject. Example, Pedro es un buen trabajador. Pedro is a good worker. Un buen trabajador es Pedro. A good worker is Pedro. Attributes can be replaced only by the pronoun lo, no matter whether the attribute is masculine or feminine or singular or plural. Lo, in this case, is an impersonal it, representing the attribute. Examples, ella está triste, ella lo está. She is. Nosotros somos tus vecinos. Nosotros lo somos. We are. Ellos parecen buenas personas. Ellos lo parecen. They seem, they seem like it. Okay. That's all for now, folks.